Tesla has been sued a thousand times at least, I'm sure, but less commonly, they are the ones doing the suing. It turns out that once in a while, their suppliers act in bad faith. And this is one such example where a battery supplier is accused of sharing trade secrets. Let's get into that and see what's going on. I'm Brian. Welcome to Futuraza. So I've got my good buddy Herbert here from Brighter. He does fantastic work. Head over there, check him out. And this is a topic I saw that you had covered just today. So I wanted to get your insights on it uh, for my viewers who find your channel too lowbrow and uh, <laughs> unsophisticated. Now I tease, of course, but uh, the story is, and you've seen this, Irreparable harm. Tesla sues supplier for stealing a ba 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 billion battery dollar secrets. Uh, what's going on here? Yeah, I just had Jeff Lutz. He's really the person, right? He would know so much more about this. He is a supply chain executive. He was, um, you know, one of the top SESVPs of supply chain, and he's also a chief quality officer. He's really one of the top executives for not only Fortune 100 companies, but actually Fortune 6 companies, okay? I'm telling you. Wow. <laughs> Mag 7. Uh, wow. So he's been around. And what he was saying was this is just normal, par for the course. Matthews International, they are, they're, you know, they, they got caught, right? They're going to have to deal with this scenario. The question is, you know, the, the, a lot of the audience out there say, why is Tesla even doing this? Tesla has been famously, Elon specifically says, we are only patenting our technology just so that people can't, um, you know, just so that they can't sue you <laughs> for doing it, but they are open sourcing it. They're letting people do this. Why this one? Why do you think this happened? at this point. I, I don't have the answer. Jeff didn't exactly answer that one either. What What's your thinking? Why did they file lawsuit yeah. for this one? So I've got a couple thoughts. One is if they took it and patented it themselves, it means they can turn around and sell it. And for that matter, sue Tesla for using it in the first place. Um, the point is not that someone should sell this tech, but if someone wishes to use the tech, just give us a call and we'll make it happen. Whereas with uh, this company, I don't think that uh, is how it would work. I think they the reason that this company would patent it is yeah. to make the money off of it. And I think that would be more greedier. So yeah. is the opinion then that they, uh, the strongly worded suit claims Pittsburgh-based Matthews International shared information about Tesla's dry electrode battery manufacturing process with competitors. Tesla calls the, its technique one of the most path-breaking innovations because it reduces cost, energy com consumption, and production cycle time. Do you know that the dry yeah. electrode and cathode are done? Do you yes. know they're done? That's right. You've been so, following it so closely. I've watched your channel to know all this. Yeah. I have been following it. On Saturday, I uh, was on a panel with Sandy Monroe and Jordan Giesecke. Wow. That's going to, that's yeah. uh, probably been published by the time this comes out. So look for that on my channel. Maybe the link is in the description where Sandy did, did confirm that when they cracked open that 4680, yeah. it was dry. It was dry processed through and through. Now we don't know that all the cells going into all the cyber trucks are dry electrode dry cathode but we believe they are we know that some of them are i have in my possession the 4680 that sandy gave to jordan to give to the research lab at uc san diego i am hand delivering it uh to shirley mung and her team wow. because you cannot put these on an aircraft mm. they are so you can't ship it through first class mail. So I am Brian the hand, mule. I am a mule. I am a I prefer courier, but okay. I am, you know, smuggling this thing. And it is exciting to be part of it. It really is. Uh so I will get that to their lab, but we can already see some improvements on it. The by the way, the if you saw the the teardown of the first battery that UC San Diego's lab did, mm -hmm. the cell wall was prohibitively thick. And it looked like based on the gauge of it, that they took a 2170 cell and just increased it in all dimensions, including wall thickness. Mm -hmm. It is now thinned down substantially. They've reduced the weight quite a bit. 
but they're still quite heavy. So we will soon find out what's inside and we'll get insights that even Sandy Monroe was unable to get because when the cell is cracked open, you get to mm -hmm. find out what's actually in there that dissipates out into the air immediately. So there will be some answers. And I, I think the reason why Tesla is very upset about this, and by the way, if you listen very closely to Elon, you you start you heard him right even the earnings call many months ago where he said that we, we paused when he was talking about having another ai day or battery day because we're, we seem to be sharing the information so the way tesla works and the philosophy that he has is that he has this overarching mission accelerating the path to sustainable energy he wants the world to transition he wants to support his competitors he said that we will we'll still patent things, but we're trying to do that just to prevent, you know, patent trolls hitting them hard on it. But the goal is to go there. But the way that Tesla works is that it's always, he relies on their innovation engine to always be ahead, one step ahead of everyone else. So go ahead, do what I've, you know, I just shown you how to make, do something, go ahead and do that. We want you to do that 48 volt battery, but go ahead and do that. But as, as they're making it and they're not quite yet there, that's where the trade secrets come in. We are the leader. We are leapfrogging everybody. We don't want you, my trusted partner, to now share that even before we've done it to go ahead and share it with competitors. That's, you know, that's, it's like a trusted partner. So we don't want you to do it. If, if I want to share the information, we will do it, but not, it's not up to you. So they're, they're uh, suing Matthews from misusing the trade secret. And like you said, they're actually patenting it themselves and they're going to request monetary damages, a billion dollars. So they have to show force here that you can't do that. If you are like my partner that you're working with me to do this. Matthew says it began developing the technology over 25 <laughs> years ago. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Uh, for dry cathode 25 years ago. Then why did why are you okay? Okay. Okay. A line item. That's, I met a gentleman who said uh at a car show on Monday. By the way, they have car shows every Monday here in uh here in Belleville. And uh, that's because uh, this is this is car country. This is Motor City. Of course, they have a car show every week, and it's almost all the same people week after week. This is just what we do. Met a gentleman who said, "When I was in college a million years ago, I took a CAD class, and yeah. I designed a car that looked just like that Cybertruck." Yes. Yes, I also, I mean, that is CAD 101 is, is a bunch of very, very straight lines. <laughs> when I was a three-year-old, I, I drew a car that right. looks exactly the Cybertruck. Yes, and that's great. And I'm sure Matthews did uh, have some ideas 25 years ago that they never put into use. Guess what, guys? If you mm -hmm. had patented it 25 years ago, it would already be in the public domain. Exactly. So Good point. There, there are too many silly parts to this. I don't think... Tesla will get a billion dollars. Yeah. What I think they would more likely get is the patent released. What What's your speculation? What does Jeff think? I have no idea. I, I don't know what Jeff thought on that one. No yeah. one knows what Jeff thinks. <laughs> I love Jeff. I love you too. Right. Uh, and uh, the viewers at home, I love you guys as well. Uh, don't forget Herbert and I will both be at the X takeover in San Luis Obispo at the end of July. I may be getting in a few days early. So if you're in a few days early and feel like hanging out, uh, join me for coffee or lunch or something and we can visit. Why not? And uh, everybody else, you know, uh, like, subscribe, do the usual. Uh, leave us your thoughts in the comments below and stay tuned, stay juicy. And I cannot wait to hear from you, clever robots in San Luis Obispo. Thank you, Herbert. Thank you.